so it's me your little boy K Samson. so I have something special for us today you know what I bring to the table is this you know uh, <coughs> put in work yes believe me uh, this message may sound uh, something like a uh, uh, hard to many but I understand that at the end of it you will do what you will understand what I mean put in work no matter what you are doing put in work no matter where the level of your what your sources the level of your of your blessing the level of your doing that's why the Bible said uh, when God was doing what was creating human was creating every living and living things on planet earth both the living and unliving because all is created by God when God was created after creating all he sent man he said go and dominate take care name you know Adam name all so Adam put in work in order for him to fulfill it all believe me the world we are living today don't wait for people to do it, to to change your, your situation yes believe me don't wait don't wait one day that people will come and change your situation no matter what no one up there will truly come to ask you how are you doing no one up there will truly come to tell you this no one up there is coming to rescue you believe me that is why you need to put in work that is why you need to understand that the people will always love you as long as they are using you i know i posted one of my videos that was day before yesterday i posted it i said they can the moment they can use you that is what that is when they will start to call you all sorts of names people leave you because they can use you you come saying that is why my brother my sisters put in work I don't know whether you are this or that, whether you are not, you, do, you don't have, you, you, you are doing a little job. Let it be your hobby to work hard. Believe me, you will enjoy it in a due season. I know that the world we are living today, if you are working under someone, it's very, very difficult for you to grow, which I know. I know that nine to five work is not supposed to be. I know that the world we are living today, no matter how much they are paying you as a salary earner, it, it, is, it is not okay to be okay. Yes, I know, but the truth is this. It is better to do it, to have a ending salary rather than to fold your hand because the Bible makes me to understand that. And uh, uh, how, how did the Bible record it? It said, a, a, a mind without work is a what is an enemy what workshop. What does that tell you that if you fold your hand and you are not working, no mist for you to survive, no no mist you are ending something, nothing is entering your pocket, nothing is entering your hand. You come to understand that bad bad thought. You know some people do used to say this word, which I know is correct. I'm not I'm not a controversial. I'm not control of it. But the Bible the people used to say it, and the Bible have recommended it, that that the money is the root of all evil but i come to understand that the reason why bible say money is the root of all evil is because god himself have already made that decree that have already noticed what is ahead to happen we can see a lot of people today nobody have what patient people want to use order to become successful which is called the root of money is the what is the is the the the, the, the root of money is evil you know what I'm saying? So people want to do it in what in a way that is legal. You can see a lot of people entering this in order for them to survive. But to me, what I know actually, which is the root of all evil, you know, when it comes to nature, I, let's forget aspect of the word of God. When it comes to earthly things like this, the root of poverty is the big is the what is the major reason why a lot of people are rushing life. Why? Because Someone today, people who are who have that. I'm not talking about being poor in what find in money and mentality. Poor in mentality. People who think that fast and fall is the best way to succeed. Believe me, that is the worst word. The root of money we are having because someone who know that if he or she is working, 
that a day will come where the light will shine will not have that that mindset to do evil where the money will become the root of all evil he goes because the moment you maybe some some somebody will pay you now he say go and do it and hurt that person go and betray that person i will, I will give you so a man and you know that eh, this money they are giving me is for evil then i have a mist of surviving if I go to this job now, I will end money, either 2 euro, 3 euro, and he can take me like today now. Tomorrow I will still go. So no need of me putting my hand for evil because I want to get it big. You got to understand that that midst of you surviving become what the root of money become the what become what something good but whereby you start to extend it to illegal, control it to the will of God, to the nature, it becomes the root of all evil. But believe me, choosing ones. It is very necessary for us to put in work. It is very necessary for us to wake up from our slumbering. Believe me, no man, I know that it's hard, but believe me, no man up there who made it overnight. Believe me, no one up there becomes successful overnight. Believe me, no one up there suddenly becomes successful without hard work. This is what many people up there will never tell you. No one out there, no I mean no single person up there who becomes successful overnight. Nobody up there who starts, who, who becomes famous without hard work. That is why you need to understand that the world we are living in today, the world we are based on today, either you like it or not, it is very necessary for you to put in work. I know. I encourage you all by the special grace of God. When you are what tired, rest. When you are weak, take what take time to relax. When you feel like you can't do it again, take time, rest, eat. When you know that you are not feeling okay, take medicine to do what? Drink. Because the Bible makes it clear that the hips in the feed are made for the children of God. Don't let no one deceive you that you are, you are feeling headache. And you know what is necessary for you to take. And you said, let me pray. Prayer is good, but take medicine and cure yourself. You believe me? And when you are, what, when you are in need of eating, my sister, my brother, don't go and thief. Eat that thing you have. Eat it and do it and be benefit. Don't think, let me save, let me wear clothes. It is more better for you to do it, to take care of your own body, to maintain yourself, to have a good head, than to wear a luxurious and a cost what cloth, a, 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 a expensive cloth on top of what unhealthy what head. You know what I'm saying? So my brother, I urge you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, protect your good health. Eat, drink, relax, and still put in work. You know what I'm saying? May God bless you. Remember blessed. So this is all I have for you choosings. Don't think, mm, uh, I, I need to buy a house. I need to buy this. I need to do, I know they are necessary. We need it as a woman. But before all, put in, because let me tell you, most of people that died today, it's not only because the demons cause it. It's not only because the witches cause it. It's not only because they are this or they are that. But majority of them died because of the fact that they are not giving themselves what they need. Yes, believe me. Because of fact that they are not giving... You know, I have one of my friends whom I do used to live with, you know? Those days. So anytime we are going to work, this guy always, you know, I'm not saying that it's bad for you to be eating one water, one, di one diet every day, but it is very necessary to exchange it. You know what I'm saying? So may God bless you. Remember blessed.